Well, well, well. Breaking news. The Papyrus Sports Stadium has been banned by CAF. Yes, you heard me right. The Papyrus Sports Stadium, where the Black Stars last played their international game in the AFCON qualifiers versus Angola. Uh, the pitch that received a lot of stick on social media has been banned. We'll look at the full details of the communicator that has come in from CAF and the FA and the way forward. With this new information coming in, it means that Ghana will have uh, to look for another venue out of the approved CAF venues uh, to play their international game. We'll have a look at if it is possible for Ghana uh, to get that done in time. The next international game is on 11th or what is the way forward subscribe if you haven't click on that notification bell to get more updates so breaking news is that uh, the venue for the ghana black stars game that was last played here in ghana at the Bavaria sports stadium has been banned yes in an official communique from the confederation of african football uh, to the ghana football association who posted it on their website a uh, calf has withdrawn its approval of the Babaira Sports Stadium in Kumasi. Due to the technical infractions, including an unsuitable playing field, the decision was made after observations made by CAF during the recent African Cup of Nations qualifying match between Ghana and Angola. And uh, all over social media, uh, the pitch came under a lot of stick. The CAF team identified several issues, including a playing field that was deemed unsuitable for competitive matches. Calf, didn't you look at it before approving it? Were well, you guys misled? Let us understand what this is here. The Babaira Sports Stadium has a seating capacity of 40,000. The stadium's playing field had deteriorated significantly with uneven surfaces, poor drainage, and inadequate grass cover. Now, Calf officials expressed dissatisfaction with the state of the stadium, citing the need for Ghanaian authorities to invest in upgrading the facility to meet international standards. A letter from CAF noted earlier concerns expressed by the continental body about the state of the playing field. Then the FA in releasing this statement and the NSA as well should not pretend like this is the first time they are hearing this. In 2022, I was there live in Khaled. We didn't know where we were going to play Nigeria in the World Cup qualifiers. CAF came in, gave us a late approval, and then we played there. But they cited that things need to change. The stadium, uh, uh, lights, the speakers, they mentioned the washrooms, nothing has changed. They mentioned the surface, nothing has changed. It's like the NSA and GFA or whoever is in charge in sports ministry, they wait to the last minute and then they are surprised hey we didn't know you knew you knew march before march 2022 before Niger we played nigeria we did not have a surface to play on we had to beg calf to give us a later approval otherwise we'd have to travel outside the country to play a very important World Cup qualified game versus nigeria why do we like doing this to ourselves and then we act surprised it's important to note that prior to the match calf had expressed concerns about the suitability of Babara Sports Stadium for hosting top-tier international fixtures. Persistent issues at this venue, as well as others in Ghana, such as the Cape Coast and Accra Sports Stadium, have also been noted. Given the absence of any CAF-approved Category 3 stadiums in Ghana, CAF has requested that the Ghana Football Association uh, select an alternative venue from among those approved uh, by CAF outside Ghana on for match day three and four, which is a double header versus Sudan, where we need our people behind us. Well, in the AFCON qualifiers, a letter from CAF also recommended that relevant authorities conduct a comprehensive assessment of all major international stadiums in Ghana to ensure they comply with CAF technical standards. Additionally, uh, CAF advised that the stadium management engage experienced companies immediately to undertake the necessary refurbishment to meet CAF and FIFA standards. <laughs> Goodness, I don't even know where to start with this. Is it that the NSA or those at the NSA don't know what their job is? You know you are supposed to take care of the stadiums. Less than a month to an international game, you rent it out for people to have a church event on it. I don't have anything against that. But then protect the pitch. No pitch covers. 
then it destroys the pitch further already i said it since 2022 you've known that this venue would not be suitable for this game you've known that it has not meet calf standards and calf keeps giving you late approvals upon late approvals and you find some way somehow find a way to play at a Bavaria sports stadium this is only happening after this loss to Angola. I'm pretty sure about it because now it feels like the Barbaros Fortress vibe is gone. Like the, you don't care again because now the Barbaros invisibility that made it a fortress is really gone. And that is why uh, you are pushing for the, oh, that is why right now it looks like the FA or whatever I don't know how to put this, but basically, because the Barbaros invisibility, if it, we had won versus Angola, trust you me, we would still be pushing for CAF to give us a late approval, find a loophole somewhere, and make it possible to play Sudan in at the Barbara Sports Stadium. The invisibility is gone. So what is there to fight for again? CAF have finally uh, withdrawn their approval, and it is something that shouldn't have come to this the nsa the ministry the gfa they all work in tandem you cannot tell me i should blame one ahead of the of, of the other it's quite clear that these guys these three organizations have done a very very atrocious job in taking care of our stadiums they have to make sure that the stadiums are on the international standard and they have not done that they've let us all down the withdrawal means that ghana will have to find alternative venues for the upcoming international games between us and sudan then we'll play a, a angola away and then play niger at home we cannot play that we'll have to play it all away why do we like putting ourselves in such situations? All this could have been avoided if we adhered to the advice back in 2022, my people. 2022, we were told that we do not have a, a calf approved venue. We were told, we were told, but we did not listen. And that is what has brought us here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. No surprises for me. What do you think? Which venue do you think Anna should play? We have Ivory Coast to play. We can play in Ivory Coast. We can play. Is there a proof stadium in Togo? Mm, I don't know about that. But we can play in Nigeria. Nigeria has an approved stadium. If it doesn't clash with them also using it. There are so many other stadiums we can use. But the breaking news is that CAF has withdrawn its approval of the Babaira Sports Stadium. Meaning Ghana versus Sudan at Babaira would now have to be played away from home. The next few days and months and weeks will determine if probably a late approval will come in. But usually the approval comes one month before the game and it's exactly one month to the game. So it's very little time to put everything that has been stated. You had over two years, you didn't do it. You want to do it in under uh, three weeks. Well, good luck to those in charge. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week.